So, I heard about this movie because I heard that the movie is about this. Now, I... YouTube is really weird when it comes to censorship, so I don't want to say this. Um, you know, especially when the movie is predominantly... It's about this as well. I don't want this to say this because the algorithm will pick pick me up and shadow ban, shadow ban this video. <clears throat> but this movie... This is one of the first few times in which I felt like I was watching something that Hollywood does not want you to see. For some reason. And, uh, you know, Jim Caviezel, I've always really enjoyed. I, I love, particularly love from him, uh, a hidden gem called Unknown, Passion of the Christ, and The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, just this fantastic work here and these are movies that I genuinely genuinely loved and I revisited uh, again and again I love recommending this films and now I need to add another Jim Caviezel uh, classic to the list which is this movie so I'm, I'm gonna tell you up front I think this movie is a strong 8 an 8 out of 10 I think it's a, uh, a strong great film I think my only issues with this film is that the dialogue can be pretty weak and full of cliches. There's an argument there. I do think as we get towards uh, the island in the third act, just the island to the end credits, that stuff from the third act, it, it kind of feels as if, <laughs> as if the budget bottomed out. And they bit, they did the best they could. Now, luckily, there's not like a bunch of nauseating CGI, like bad CGI. There's nothing like that, thankfully. But you can just tell they wanted to do something. They had a they had a grander vision. They weren't able to fully execute that. So you know, the last 35, 45 minutes, the movie feels a tad bit. You can feel the the runtime, and the movie it just falls into a. a despite what's happening narratively it's a bunch of stuff that you've seen before if, if you love watching movies so but i mean the, the very first shot immediately i said oh all right <laughs> okay let's let's go and, and the final shot it, 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 clever clever uh, jim caviezel is great as usual because even though this movie's PG-13 and even though this movie is not perfectly executed there is something so unbelievably like nerve shreddingly disturbing about this movie is subject matter because now I don't know if you've seen this video if you haven't you should you should hunt it down and watch he's saying that there's so many hidden depths and him speaking to this is it's outrageous. He's saying it's a hundred fifty-two billion dollar business. Uh, Twenty-three percent of uh, most of the trafficking going on is children, or something, something like that. It's just it, so it sounds crazy, and then and then he starts getting into this organ harvesting. Fuck! It's, it's scary to think that that's like. Ha it makes me think about like what's happening with our cell phones, you know. Um, because they're all built from the same... And anyways, anyways, that's, that's, a lot, that's a whole other rabbit hole. But, I highly recommend this movie, okay? I, I saw it a few days ago, and it just, it just won't... It's like a shadow that just won't leave me alone. This one sequence where they break into this house, the way that the interior of this guy's house looked i swear to god it was like something out of the 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 sickly universe where the joker lives i mean it it to think that there, there's actual people out there like that and and that this could be a crisis that is way 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 worse than what what me me and you were thinking right now is insane it's insane this movie kind of scared the hell out of me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This is to all of the agents that are out there that are very well aware of what's going on with the children, that know a lot, and that are scared from coming forward. You know, I saw 
Um, I actually, I did The Passion of the Christ when we had, when the movie was over, two people that had committed murder came forward and um, turned themselves in. That was how powerful that f film is. This one has the reverse. You watch it, you feel God's love and the power in this movie, Sound of Freedom, and it makes you unafraid. Um, I was willing to come forward and speak truthfully on things like adrenochrome, organ harvesting, and was severely reprimanded by much of the media. And they claimed their fact checkers uh, knew more, but they don't know like you guys know. I put you up against them anytime. And so, but I was a burden that I was no longer burdened with anymore. My career, I would never put in front of the children. And I just ask you to look in your heart, to go to the film Sound of Freedom, which is a phenomenal movie, which represents you. And let that be your word against what these liars have done for a long, long time.